welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dana, AKA Blondie Knots here on YouTube. And today we are going to try to summon fall to us. We are going to just sit down. Today's gonna to be a very cozy video. All we're doing is we're gonna be crocheting pumpkins. We got a market prep. We got fall market season coming up before we know it here. And so we need to get some pumpkins done for that. So that is basically all we're doing in today's video. I thought it would be fun to just kind of see how many pumpkins we can make in a day. I'm not gonna push myself too hard like I do for my tapestry videos just because I am filming this video way later in the week than I typically like to film my videos. I was having a lot of forearm and wrist pain this week so I'm gonna try to take it a little bit easy but I do still kind of want to see how many I can get done today. I don't have an exact game plan going into this so we'll kind of figure it out as we go along as sometimes we do here on the channel but I thought I would put on my little I have to show you my goosebump sweater today because I am going to just be watching some Halloween movies and get get cozy and get in the pumpkin spirit if you know what I mean. Speaking of Halloween fall pumpkins before we begin today I thought I would just mention really quick this piece right behind me. If you were here for my studio vlog last week you know that I mentioned I was releasing a pattern and so by now this time the video comes out my pattern is released so this is it this is called wicked whiskers and it is a tapestry piece I designed this and came up with this after I told you guys I'm so into vintage Halloween decor and just that old really old vintagey style is so my vibe for Halloween I, I love it it's a little bit creepy it's a little spooky he's a little unsettling I love the part party hats that they used to do for some reason whatever the ruffles everything this pattern is advanced beginner friendly I could say but I will show you too up close we do have this 3d element I added of the ruffle collar so it does have a really fun texture to it here's it close up it doesn't take too too much time to work up you have these fun little spiky sides here you can add on and yeah it's just a really fun piece to me and something I haven't seen when I was looking around for Halloween patterns and so I thought I would make one. So in case you were interested in my pattern and maybe creating your own Wicked Whiskers tapestry piece, I will of course link it in the description box below and also I thought for my YouTube family, I would offer you guys a special code. So when you go on to purchase the pattern, if you just type in YouTube in the discount bar before you check out, that way I know you've come from YouTube and I wanted to offer you guys 20% off the pattern. I'm not gonna have a pattern sale anywhere else for a while and so I just thought I would offer it to you guys since you guys have provided me with so much support on my channel so far. And so I just thought it'd be a really nice way to offer you guys an exclusive discount discount. So if you want 20% off this pattern that is available now on my Etsy, just make sure you type in code YouTube in the discount section before you check out. And that way you can get your 20% off that I want to give to you. So thank you in advance. If you do purchase my pattern, if you make one and you put it on social media, tag me. I would love to see it. If you're intimidated about something about this pattern, I promise you I have tried to break it down and explain it as best I can. I also have a lot of video links along the way to my tapestry tutorial to help you walk you through even further if you need visual assistance if you don't pick up things by reading so if you have wanted to try crochet tapestry or you just kind of got into it recently you can probably work this pattern up although there is four colors really you only use the green for just a little bit so it's not too bad but yeah if you make one I would love to see it so please tag me or send me pictures anything just thank you in advance so much all that being said we are going to go downstairs because because I want to be watching cozy movies on the TV and we're just gonna start working up the pumpkins like I said in my last studio vlog if you were here for that I will be using a I think nine millimeter hook and I'm gonna use a 6.5 millimeter hook I'm using all wool ease thick and quick across the board we're going to be making popcorn pumpkin stitch pumpkins from Cameron's cute creations I will link the pattern again for you if you weren't here for my studio vlog and then for my regular pumpkins, I'm just going to be half double crocheting in the back loop only for X amount of stitches, depending on how big the pumpkins are. 
So that's enough of me yapping. I am just ready to get to work, see how many we'll get done today. Let's just go downstairs and start whipping up some pumpkins. One more thing, I keep forgetting to do my coffee supporter for the week, so I need to get in the groove of doing that. But this one is very appropriate for today's video since I am officially announcing the release of my tapestry pattern. But this coffee supporter is Jody, and Jody said, hi, you got me into doing more tapestry when I almost lost my want to crochet. Thank you. Thank you, Jody. That was so sweet of you to donate. And what a sweet little message. I'm so happy that I could get you back into crocheting and especially into tapestry. You guys know my love for tapestry, but that is so wonderful. Thank you so much. And if you guys also want to donate a copy to me and my channel and just help support the channel, uh, the link is in the description box below. Thank you to everyone who has donated so far. I really, really appreciate the extra support. Okay, so we are down here ready to work up some pumpkins. I will say, I can't tell you how long this sweatshirt is gonna last because it's almost 80 degrees now, I think. And so if you see me change halfway through the video, let's not mention it. Okay, so I really, like I told you already, I don't have a game plan going into this. What I think is going to happen here is to keep myself excited and motivated to be making the same thing over and over again, what I typically do is I will change the color every time I make a new pumpkin. So I would make my first pumpkin in orange, then I make a blue one, then I make a white one, et cetera, et cetera, go through and then restart. It helps my brain feel like I'm doing something different even though I'm repeating the same process over and over. Since I haven't really made pumpkins with wool ease thick and quick, I don't actually know how many I'm gonna get out of each skein. So I think my first initial plan will be to go through one full skein, see how many pumpkins I get, and then that way I can map out how many smalls I wanna make, how many mediums I wanna make, and how many larges I wanna make. So I think I'll go through one skein, I'll make a small, a medium, a large, we'll see how much we have left, if that even makes all of those and then we'll kind of reassess from there. I don't think I plan on making many large size pumpkins. I think I'm gonna stick mostly to small and medium, but again, we'll see. I don't know how big the large works up. I'm just gonna make them all and then we'll kind of stuff them at the end. We'll do like an assembly line. So right now, we're just going to make the husk basically of the pumpkin. Then after we make all those, we'll go through, stuff them all, hot glue all the cinnamon sticks in, and then we'll be completed. That's my thought process going forward. But right now, let's see how many different pumpkins I can get out of one color. I think I'll just start with, I kind of feel like using this yellow first. I don't know why, but I just do. I'm gonna start with one of Cameron's pumpkins first, and then we will go from there and uh, see what we get. So we have made one small pumpkin in the bobble stitch, popcorn stitch, whichever, and then one medium sized. So that is just about the entire skein. I have like this much left, which maybe this yarn looks so orange on camera. It's very yellow though. Um, I have this much, which maybe can make a tiny, tiny little one because then I do have to have enough to, you know, weave in all the ends and then also make the the pumpkin, I don't know, indentations in here. So maybe I'll make one teeny tiny little guy and then we'll move on to our next color, but pretty cute. I'm really, really liking these bobbly stitch ones, but I'm gonna actually size down for this tiny guy to a 6.5 millimeter. So I'm gonna do that just to use up a little more of the yarn. I don't wanna have like, you know, an unusable amount left. So this will kind of help us a little bit and then those will be finished off with whatever's left over. So it looks like we're gonna get one mini, one small, and one medium out of each skein if we go about it that way, or we'll get maybe a large and a small, something like that. So it'll just kind of depend. 
I'm still debating if I want to make a large or not um, just because I know it's going to take up so much yarn and I don't know how much people will want the large ones. Maybe I'll make like two. Let's go for two large ones. Don't know what colors we'll make the large ones in yet. So, all right, that is my updated plan at the moment. I'll show you the mini when I get him done. He's going to be super cute. Three done. We're about an hour-ish in, a little over an hour. So I still have quite a bit left to sew up the pumpkins, which is good. I still don't know if this method is going to work for me of my little assembly line thing, but right now we're just gonna go for it. And I'm going to go for my next color, which I think I'll do some in white really quick. This is my fisherman's color. And then maybe we'll switch to a fun color like pink or blue or something. So, all right, more pumpkins, here we go. guys so it is the next day as you can see we're in the same spot but I do have a bit of a different update this is an update I haven't given a lot but I thought hey I just really want to be honest and stay very authentic on my channel so this is my real life update basically yesterday I was working this pumpkin I was doing okay, my wrists were starting to hurt again. Not even my wrists, but in my forearm here, I get this feeling of like fire ants in my forearm, which is a new thing I've been experiencing every now and then, but I just decided to really listen to my body and I just had to stop. I wasn't having a good time, it was burning, and this wasn't realistically something I needed to get done today, and so pushing myself, I just felt like wasn't really a good idea. So basically we ended with, I mean, you saw all the progress. We made three of these pumpkins and almost one full big white one, but I just wanted to come on here and just give you a very realistic update that this is what happened this week. I was in my head and all last night frantically trying to figure out, okay, how can I salvage this video and make it still fun and entertaining for you guys? But then the more I thought about it, the more I just thought about the people who always say, you're always making so many projects, you're a machine, you're always working, how do you get so much done in a week? And I wanted to show a realistic version that sometimes I don't get all that stuff done. As someone who works a handmade small business, this is just how it goes sometimes. I'm only one person and you know, there's only so many hours in a day and I can only do so many things at one time. And this week I released my pattern, it consumes my entire life when I make a pattern. So that is what I worked on all week. Plus I had a large amount of Etsy orders I had to get through. One day I had about 20 Etsy orders I had to make that came out of really nowhere. So all really good positive reasons as to what filled my week this week, but just realistically that is what happened this week and you know I told you I was struggling with some wrist pain earlier in the week and it did subside but then this just really spiked it back up and I just thought I, can't, I just need to really rest my wrist and I did the best I could but it just didn't come together and so I wanted to share that with you guys that really sometimes like I said it just does go this way uh, for everyone. Markets being around the corner here, it is kind of starting to give me a little bit of anxiety and stress because I feel very underprepared, but we will get there. You always get there. And so the thing to do when you're feeling stressed, at least for me, is I'm going to sit down. I'm going to make a list of what I need to make. You and I are going to go through my market bins and kind of do a spring clear out. So I'm thinking about maybe on Thursday, I will post you and I going through my market bins, getting all of our spring stuff out, figuring out what we need for the fall season to be successful at markets. And I thought we could do that on Thursday since, you know, this video didn't really 
go the way as planned, but a lot of things just happened this week that got in the way of making this video possible, but that is okay. My wrist and forearm, don't worry. I don't think it's anything to be concerned about. It just, it was overdue for a little bit of a break. So that's kind of just what this is. I did want to share one other thing with you before, you know, we call this video a total bust because um, I did end up finishing that tank top I was talking to you guys about in last week's studio vlog. I want to show you the neck detailing because it's so pretty. It came out so nicely. And then we have the sleeve detail here, but it's just a nice, really basic tank top as you know, you guys saw me make through the week. So I did finish this actually last Saturday, right after the vlog was over, but I haven't got to share it with you yet. So that is the update, it is done. I'm so thrilled to have this done, but I will be taking pictures and posting in that. So if you are following me on Instagram, you will be seeing more of this top coming up. That's kind of really all I have for you. This is such a weird way for me to end a video because I haven't had a video go like this before, but like I've said a hundred times now, I just really wanted to be honest, all positive, good reasons as to why we didn't get around to this video this week. So I'm very grateful for all those things. I'm very grateful for you guys as always. The pattern response so far has been really good. Uh, it just came out today. Today is Saturday. So it just dropped today and the response has been great on it. And I'm just so fortunate to have you guys all here and a part of my channel. Thank you so much. Thank you for just watching this video. I almost just even was going to write out a message that I wouldn't even post Monday because I was you know, so frantic about what to do about this, but I figured to post and talk to you guys would be better than to not post at all. So <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind that this week kind of was a little bit of a flop, but like I said, we will hang out Thursday. We'll go through some market bins and do all that stuff. And then we'll, we'll be back on track next Monday. We just needed a little bit of a reset this week. So I hope you guys are staying kind to your bodies and your wrists and taking signs that sometimes you just need to slow it down a little bit. I'm very bad about doing that myself. I know I preach it a lot, but I do not always practice it. So make sure you're giving yourself plenty of rest. Make sure you're doing your stretches, all the good things. Um, I'm, I'm going to put those all into practice myself way more often. Uh, cause you know, you only have one set of wrists. So <laughs> okay guys with all that being said again don't forget if you want to purchase my pattern code youtube at checkout it's just for you guys 20 percent off of the pattern if you're new here and you want to stick around i would absolutely just love to have you be a part of this community and i would love if you subscribe to my channel if you want to send in a square to participate in the community project you still have a couple weeks left to do that so just wanted to quickly remind you of that make sure to like the video guys if you liked this even though it was a little bit different uh share this with your other crochet friends who just need to know that sometimes it's okay to take a break. Remind yourself that sometimes it's okay for you to take a break. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. As always, thank you for letting me take up a little bit of your time here on the internet today. I am excited to hang out with you on Thursday and get some bins cleared out and just get in full fall mode. So hopefully we can do that together on Thursday. Let me know what you were working on in this video. If you made it to this point of the video, I'd love to know if you got some pumpkins done. I hope you made some better progress than me today. <laughs> and yeah, other than that, guys, have a wonderful week and I will be talking to you soon. All right. Bye.